Good morning. And by morning, I do mean afternoon. It's like just after one. Um, I went to sleep at three again last night. It's my toxic trait. Honestly, right now I was going to sleep at three, but we're gonna try to have a productive day. It is a Sunday and I do not work, but we gonna be working um, on sewing things for Christmas. And I keep saying that I have to do this, but I'm lazy and I have to get my sewing machine out, but it's terrible now because my sewing machine is in an easily accessible place, so I really don't have an excuse. But today is the day. Um, I've got all the patterns cut. I've had all the patterns cut, I would say for close to a month. It's just been the lazy factor. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my bed because I still have this pile of clothes on my office chair over there um, that I'm refusing to deal with for no reason. Um, and then it'll also give me a place to lay out the patterns as I figure out what parts I need to do. I have, t I have three things I need to make. I'll probably make four, maybe, because the fourth is a bag for myself, um, that I cut before the summer. I mean, half of it before the summer. Um, <laughs> maybe it was last year. Oh, dang. Um, but I have two plushes and a bag four gifts. One of the plushes is a whale, which I have made multiple of, if you know, you know. Um, and the other one is a brand new pattern, but it looks relatively simple. So I'm, 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 I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm also, rem like, I bought all this, um, polyfill for my frog army, and I'm just remembering that, like, yeah, I also need this for the other two plushes, and thank god that I've got this and two more bags, because these plushes are bigger. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm talking to procrastinate from the doing, so I'm gonna make the bed now, probably then gonna feed myself, um, cause you gotta have food in your tummy to be a productive person. I mean, not really, but it helps. And then we will get to the crafting. It's been a long time since I've used my sewing machine, well, for anything besides my frog army. <laughs> oh, it's so dark over here. A slight change of plans. We're gonna go out because we need to go to the storage locker to see if we can find our Christmas lights for the front of the house um, and our inflatables, which is very exciting. And so I'm just gonna get food when we go out, um, which is also very exciting. So I got the shirt and the pants. I also laid out my sewing projects for when I get back. So great shadow, I know. Um, bag, bag, whale, other, it's a dinosaur. Um, and hopefully these three things I've made before Hopefully that one I can pull off. I constantly like pick up pick up sewing projects that are beyond my scope, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It don't it doesn't look hard. Alrighty, so I'm back home now. I think I'm gonna move these because I'm afraid that if I leave them there, I'm gonna drop them. Also, there might be a loud noise because the piece of my embroidery of my embroidery machine is behind this. And sometimes it falls. No, we're good. Okay. Back home. Time to get out the sewing machine, which, of course, is not a printer. <laughs> I always forget that it's there and it brings me such joy. So I'm a little bit conflicted on what to start with. I've, I'm feeling like bag makes the most sense, but I'm like, am I going to make that bag? Or am I just going to do this one? But I feel like I need to do that one and I need to do it first in case I forget how to do it. Is probably a good idea, right? So that means I gotta find thread. And so for anything that is like relatively new thread or fabric that I bought, I have the thread in here, but unfortunately, oh, like I think I have, yeah, I think I, <laughs> I think I have the stuff for those two projects in here, but that one I wouldn't have because I didn't buy it recently. And this one, oh, I think I do, yeah, okay. So I need to find the thread for that, which means we gotta move some stuff here. And it's honestly not like that chaotic anymore. Um, it could be better, of course. What is? Oh, this is my tripod. I always, I've lost the screw for my tripod. Oh, I just found the screw for my tripod. Never mind. I have no excuse. Anyway, now that stuff is pretty well contained here. It is a little bit easier to find everything. All oh, right. I also just realized I'll need uh, bobbins. Um, this is a disaster in here, but that's okay. Bobbins. More bobbins. But more importantly, does this have the blues in it? This does have the blues in it. Ah! 
And then this has the blacks in it. So I think we'll start with that, the bag for me, because like I said, if we screw it up royally, it doesn't matter because it's just for me and it'll be good practice. So if I recall correctly, we go, we sew outer thing to fleece to give it a little bit more of a, a puffy and more structure. And then we sew that together and we can close it off, which is fine. And then for the lining, we gotta sew the pocket on first. And the number of times I forget to sew the pocket on and then have to do it after I've closed it, it's terrible. And then you sew it and you just leave a gap in the bottom and then you sew it to the lining with the handles attached and flip it and close it. Simple. So <laughs> let's hope it's that simple when we get to it. I will say I do also have some other stuff that I need to do today. Like, um, <laughs> the angle, um, like working on thumbnails and I have to probably edit a vlog at some point, but where's the thing? It's nothing crazy pressing now that I, um, kind of did a lot of work yesterday. Ooh, that actually reminds me. It's almost time for me to post my Tiki Tack. Ugh, so I should probably figure out which one I'm gonna post and then we'll get into the sewing. In the air, the world has come alive, and when I see you, you make my pulse rise. Alrighty, hello, my dudes. We are making progress. I have an entire bag, it's so sparkly. I freaking love it, and it's got a little pocket in the inside. I don't know if you can see, but it turned out really well. There was, I think, the pocket size. If I continue to make these, I think I will adjust it, but overall. Pretty good. And like, just look at the sparkle. I also should have ironed it, but it's for me, so I didn't really care. But I'm, I'm a huge fan. And then, yeah, the pocket. Could be a little bigger. Can't fit an iPhone properly, but yeah, love it. And so now I've moved on to the second bag, which I just finished sewing the outer bag part together. Boop. Poke them corners out. Yeah, look at it. It's so cute. So the next step is I'm going to do the straps and then I guess so the straps on and then we do the pocket to the liner and then sew the liner together and then sew it together and then do the top stitching. So very exciting. I think what I'm going to try to do is pin the, actually you know what, mm, I probably don't need to pin the straps because I, I haven't washed this fabric because I'm like, that's fine. Um, so I could probably actually just sew the straps as is and flip them inside out and then probably be about time to start thinking about cooking dinner because it's about quarter, well, 10, 10 to six now. So the bag took me a while, but I mean, <laughs> sewing does take some time. I finished the second bag, so that's exciting. I'm just hanging here. This is a disaster, but like, look at the progress I've made on the whale. It's amazing until I realized the batting here, there, I sandwiched it, which means if I turn it out the right way, it'll be on the outside. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's going so well, too, is the thing. And now I have to stitch rip this entire bottom section and re-sew it. Hmm. That's fun. Especially it sucks, too, because I just cut it all. Trimmed it, getting it ready to flip. Anyway, so I guess we're going to... I think what I'm going to do is right above where the batting lies I'm going to um stitch it like reinforce it there so I can just stitch up the tail it's the best I can do now Ugh, I'm an idiot all right he is finished well almost I still have to uh sew up the bottom but I want to kind of let the stuffing adjust a bit and then obviously we need to lint roll it because we had issues <laughs> but he's amazing I think one of my favorites I've made Thus far, maybe. Anyways, good times. It's like 12.20, so I doubt I'll even start on the, um, the dinosaur, but you never know. But before anything else, I need to snack 
because I am a hungry gal. I'm just trying to decide if I want to bring a snack up here or just snack downstairs. There's no agent snack. I'm aware of this. Well, I'm happy to say that it's not three o'clock when I'm getting ready for bed. It's quarter to four. <laughs> Anyways, um, here's the dinosaur. He's got arms. I kind of changed the pattern a bit because you were supposed to like attach the arms and then stuff them and then s ladder stitch it shut and I hate ladder stitching so I figured I could just fill his arms now. He's got a head with some darts for the nostrils. His spikes are on. <laughs> going pretty well I'm really enjoying this pattern even though like it's a simple pattern it's just a very difficult pattern like a lot of it doesn't make sense but that's okay we're, we're getting there the next step is the tummy and so I have to like sew it here and then down and I was like my brain can't do that right now so that's the only reason I'm going to sleep um almost got my bed cleared off we're obviously a bit of a mess but I've just stacked up all the thread there because I'll have to sort it out uh, this is from my computer. We'll just get that off and get out of our thread covered pants and into my PJs. And then it'll be out cold. And if we sleep till one, that's probably okay. <laughs> Listen, the things that I want to do tomorrow finish this dinosaur laundry and stream. There are other things I would also like to do, but if I don't get them done, it's fine. Also, did I mention I finished the whale? Because I finished the whale. He, I love him. I need to lint roll him because of the stitch ripping, um, but I love him. He's maybe my favorite. I still have to sew up this part, but I didn't feel like doing it tonight. So we'll do that another day. I've got a couple days before I need to send this stuff because some of my Christmas stuff I need to send, and this is one of them. Um, but I love him. He's amazing. But with that, I am in my PJs. I'm just going to refill my water bottle and climb into bed. And let me tell you, am I going to be out cold super quick? It's just going to be like head on the pillow, gone. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along today where we made some things very exciting. And I hope you will subscribe so you can come back for more. We'll probably be making more things. Eventually, I'll do my Christmas recap for the things that I can't share. Um like at, at Christmas ish um but mostly yeah just come hang out it's a good time every Monday Wednesday and Friday all right bedtime now nighty night